fishery is play a very important role for the rural uh, people in terms of food security, agriculture, and household drinking, and water utilization, and also income for uh, people for six countries. The Participatory Fisher Survey is a project that we conducted as a way to train fishermen to collect information about their own catch. You work with the fishers, train them on how to collect data in a scientifically rigorous way, and we're able to get a snapshot in time of the fisher catch for those villages. In Lao PDR, um, like many other places with inland fisheries, um, the fishing is much more spread out and dispersed, and the fishermen are not necessarily bringing their catch back to the same location every day. The fishers go to fish every day without the record information on the uh, data sheet. The question is, what about your catch production per month that you caught from the Mekong. They cannot uh, tell us how, how many kilo. So that makes it really challenging trying to get information about the fishery. So one of the solutions to this challenge of a very uh, scattered fishery is to train the actual fishermen to be involved in collecting data. Uh, the benefit of a uh, participatory method is we increase capacity for the local fishers to know how to record properly what information that we need for uh, what we call catch per unit effort or CPUE. We will know that what is the effect from biodiversity of fish species lost from the Mekong River. This study was designed first and foremost to test some participatory monitoring methods that we had wanted to test. But a very important secondary objective for this study was to try to collect the data in a location that was of interest for conservation purposes. At the same time, we received a grant from the Mohammed bin Zayed Species Conservation Fund that has a particular interest in trying to protect endangered species. We have been very interested in certain genus Probarbus. Probarbus fish is an endangered species and lives in IUC in Lewis. Uh, this is an endangered species and those species was threatened by overfishing and uh, commercial trade. So we visited two villages in the Sang Tong district, which is part of Yenchen capital. The villages are Ban Ang Noi and Ban Sakai. Why we choose that area? Because that area has the history of the Pro Babas come to spawn. All the people mentioned about that area have the suitable habitat for, for them to spawn. We came back to the villages and held um, a training workshop. We trained the fishermen to collect some basic fisheries data, which included uh, fish lengths and weights. We did a, a basic uh, fish identification review with them and, and got a sense of, of which fish that they caught on a regular basis, what were their local names for these different types of fish. We taught them how to take pictures of fish that they were unfamiliar with uh, so that we would have records of fish that we could identify later. For this participatory fisher surveys, there were a lot of different elements that we were interested in collecting data on the, the fisheries. Um, in particular, we were interested in finding out what kinds of fish were captured with which gear types, because we, from initial interviews with the fishers, knew that they were using many different gear types. We were also interested in looking at length and weight of the individual fish that were captured in these gears. 
It would be easy to assume that because these two villages are located so close together on the highway that they probably catch fish in a similar way and catch similar fish species. But what we found was that they are fishing using different gear types, they're fishing in different habitats, and the species composition of their catch, and hence their dinner, is very different. We also saw a difference in catch in probarbis between the two villages. So in Banang Noi, where there was more prevalence of using gill nets, we saw a much higher catch of probarbis than in um, Ban Sakai. What's interesting is in both cases, probarbis made up less than 1% of the number of individual fish caught. In Banang Noi, it made up to 18% of the fish by weight of fish, which indicates that it is an important catch species. The pilot project was conducted in November 2013 to January 2014 for three months. Interestingly, there has been very little research done on fish and fisheries in the area. And so this was, um, to our knowledge, one of the first studies of wild capture fisheries out of the Mekong in this district in Laos. Another benefit of getting to interact with the communities as part of this project is that they were able to come to us with their concerns about the future of the fisheries in their area. They've noticed that there are many declines in fish species, but also that illegal fishing practices is on the rise. Illegal fishing in Laos includes explosives, dynamite fishing, um, poisons and they had seen this going on in their communities and they wanted tools to be able to address it. This was valuable information for us to think about ways that we might be able to support the community in the future to look into solutions like fisheries co-management, like fish conservation zones that would give the community a bit more ability and control over their uh, local fisheries resources. Hopefully what we've learned from this will help to inform fish conservation and conservation strategies for the area. What we've seen in the data is that one village catches probarbus more frequently than the other village, and so that will hopefully inform placement of potentially protected areas for probarbus. This is good result for us to make a new uh, habitat conservation for the future and creating the community fishery to protect the energy species in the future.